Five Tips for Surviving a Narcissistic Relationship Are you involved with a narcissist? You're not alone. Many of us have been there, ensnared in a toxic, self-centered relationship that leaves us feeling drained and unappreciated. But what exactly is a narcissistic relationship? And why does it feel so hard to break free from it? Stay tuned for the tips towards the end of this video. A narcissistic relationship is one where a person is involved with a partner who exhibits narcissistic traits. These traits can include an inflated sense of self-importance, an insatiable need for admiration, a lack of empathy, and a tendency to manipulate others for personal gain. This relationship can be quite a labyrinth, filled with emotional manipulation, gaslighting, and a perpetual cycle of highs and lows that can leave one feeling trapped and powerless. Now, you might be wondering, why would anyone stay in such a relationship? Well, it's not always easy to recognize the signs or to admit that you're in a narcissistic relationship. Often, the narcissist's charm and charisma can mask their more toxic traits, leaving you stuck in a cycle of confusion and self-doubt. But there's good news. You're not powerless. In fact, knowledge is your most potent weapon. That's why we're here today. Our aim is to arm you with the understanding and tools you need to navigate and survive a narcissistic relationship. We'll delve into the depths of narcissism, helping you understand what drives a narcissist and how they operate. We'll also discuss how to call out toxic behavior without triggering the narcissist's wrath, how to comprehend the abuse cycle, and how to discern the various abuse tactics a narcissist might employ. But perhaps most importantly, we'll talk about adjusting your expectations. Because when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're not interacting with a rational person. They lack empathy, which means they can't comprehend your feelings or your needs. So, if you're ready to reclaim your power and navigate the choppy seas of a narcissistic relationship, then you're in the right place. Buckle up, as we are about to dive deep into the world of narcissism and how you can navigate it. To survive, you must first understand your enemy. And in this case, the enemy is narcissism a complex and often misunderstood personality disorder. Narcissism is characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. However, behind this mask of extreme confidence lies a fragile self-esteem, vulnerable to the slightest criticism. So, what are the signs of narcissism? Well, a narcissist will often exaggerate their own abilities and achievements, and they'll constantly seek validation and praise, They'll also have a strong sense of entitlement, expecting special treatment at all times. They'll frequently belittle or disregard the feelings of others to assert their own superiority. Now, it's essential to note that not all narcissists are the same. Some people exhibit narcissistic traits, but they haven't been diagnosed as narcissistic personality disorder. Just like any other personality disorder, narcissism exists on a spectrum. Some narcissists may be overtly arrogant and demanding, while others might be more covert, manipulating their way into the spotlight. In relationships, narcissists can be particularly damaging. They often engage in a cycle of idealization, devaluation, and discard. Initially, they may shower their partner with affection and admiration, only to suddenly switch and start belittling and criticizing them. This can be incredibly confusing and hurtful for the partner. Moreover, narcissists have a tendency to gaslight their partners, Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation where the abuser makes the victim question their own sanity. This can lead to the victim feeling isolated, helpless, and doubting their own perceptions and memories. The effects of being in a relationship with a narcissist can be devastating. It can lead to a loss of self-esteem, feelings of worthlessness, and even depression. It's therefore crucial to recognize these signs and take steps to protect yourself. Now that you have a better understanding of narcissism, let's explore how to deal with it. In the face of toxicity, silence is not golden. This phrase rings particularly true in the context of a narcissistic relationship. When we encounter toxic behavior, it's crucial to call it out, to shed light on the shadows where it thrives. Toxic behavior can take many forms in a narcissistic relationship. It could be a constant belittlement of your achievements, making you feel small and insignificant. Or perhaps it's the persistent gaslighting, where your reality is twisted and manipulated, making you question your own sanity. It could be the blatant disregard for your feelings or the relentless need for control and dominance. These are just a few examples of the toxic behaviors that narcissists commonly exhibit, but why is it so important to call out these behaviors? Simply put, by doing so, we disrupt the cycle of abuse. 
we send a clear message that such behavior is not acceptable. We reclaim our power, our voice, and our right to be treated with respect and dignity. However, it's crucial to brace ourselves for the backlash. Narcissists are notorious for their inability to accept criticism. When their toxic behavior is called out, they may react with anger, rage, denial, or even more manipulation. They may try to turn the tables, making you out to be the villain, the one causing all the problems. This is their defense mechanism, their way of maintaining control. It's important to stay strong and resolute in these moments. Stand your ground. Remember, you're not the one in the wrong for calling out unacceptable behavior. Despite the potential backlash, it's essential not to let fear silence you. You deserve to be heard. You deserve to live free from toxicity. And sometimes it's the act of speaking up, of breaking the silence, that can be the first step towards that freedom. So let's not shy away from calling out toxic behavior, even when it's uncomfortable or scary. Let's not allow the fear of retaliation to keep us silent. Let's stand up for ourselves and for what's right. Remember, your voice matters. Don't let fear silence you. Be prepared for the backlash and be sure you are safe before calling out their toxic behavior. Narcissistic relationships often follow a predictable cycle. This cycle is typically comprised of four stages. Idealization, devaluation, discarding, and hoovering. First, let's talk about the idealization stage. This is the honeymoon phase, sometimes called love bombing, where the narcissist puts their partner on a pedestal. They shower them with affection, compliments, and grand gestures. It's as if they've met the perfect person, someone who can do no wrong. But this stage is not about genuine love or admiration, it's a setup, a means to an end. The narcissist is creating an illusion, a false sense of security. Next comes the devaluation stage. Suddenly, the person who could do no wrong can do no right. The narcissist starts to pick at their partner's flaws, belittling them, mocking them, even gaslighting them. This stage is incredibly damaging as it erodes the partner's self-esteem and sense of reality. Then we move on to the discarding stage. This is where the narcissist coldly cuts off the relationship or withdraws their affection. They may start a new relationship, leaving the partner feeling discarded or worthless. But remember, this is not about the partner's worth, it's about the narcissist's need for control and dominance. Finally, we have the hoovering stage. Just when the partner thinks they're free, the narcissist swoops back in, promising change, expressing remorse and reigniting the old charm. They suck the partner back into the cycle just like a vacuum or hoover. But beware, this is not genuine remorse or change, it's a manipulation tactic to regain control. Understanding this cycle, the idealization, the devaluation, the discarding, and the hoovering, is like having a map in a maze. It helps you to see the pattern, to anticipate the turns, to recognize the traps. It empowers you to make informed decisions, to protect your well-being, to reclaim your power. Remember, knowledge is power. And understanding this cycle is the first step towards breaking free from it. Narcissists have a toolbox of abuse tactics. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? But understanding these tactics can be a game changer, allowing you to spot them and protect yourself. One of the most common tactics is gaslighting, a form of psychological manipulation where the narcissist will deny reality to make you doubt your own perceptions. They might insist that a conversation you clearly remember never happened, or that you're just imagining their hurtful behavior. It's like being in a hall of mirrors where everything is distorted and you're left questioning your sanity. Another tactic is love bombing. This is when a narcissist showers you with affection and attention, only to withdraw it later. It's a manipulative tactic designed to make you feel special, then insecure and desperate for their approval. It's like a roller coaster ride with dizzying highs and crushing lows. Then there's the tactic of projection. Narcissists are notorious for blaming others for their own shortcomings. They might accuse you of being selfish, when in reality, they're the ones who are self-centered. It's a way for them to deflect attention from their own faults and make you feel guilty instead. Narcissists also employ the silent treatment as a form of punishment. They'll ignore you, refuse to communicate, and make you feel invisible. It's a tactic designed to make you feel unworthy and desperate for their attention. They may also use triangulation, pitting you against another person to create a rivalry and maintain control. It's a divide and conquer strategy that keeps you off balance and unsure of where you stand. Finally, there's the tactic of playing the victim. Narcissists excel at twisting the narrative so they're always the wronged party, never the wrongdoer. They'll make you feel like the villain for standing up for yourself. Being aware of these tactics can help you spot them and protect yourself. 
Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding these tactics, you're better equipped to navigate the labyrinth of narcissistic abuse. In a narcissistic relationship, you are not dealing with a rational person. This is a critical realization we must come to terms with when entangled in the web of a narcissist. It's not about being pessimistic, but about understanding the reality of the situation. You see, narcissists lack empathy, a fundamental human trait that allows us to connect, understand and care for others. Without it, a narcissist views the world through their own lens, often distorting the truth to fit their narrative. They are not capable of understanding your feelings or your needs, and this isn't something you can fix or change. Adjusting your expectations is not about accepting abuse or condoning toxic behavior. Instead, it's about understanding the limitations of the person you are dealing with and protecting yourself in the process. It's about realizing that the empathy, understanding or rationality you seek from them is something they are incapable of providing. The process of adjusting expectations can be tough. It involves acknowledging that the person you care for is fundamentally incapable of reciprocating in the way you deserve. It demands a shift in perspective, a realignment of your understanding of the relationship. It's important to remember that adjusting your expectations doesn't mean lowering your standards. It means realizing that you're dealing with someone who operates on a different wavelength, someone who isn't capable of giving you the emotional support you need. This realization may be difficult, but it's also empowering. It allows you to take back control. It allows you to stop seeking validation from a person who is incapable of providing it. And most importantly, it frees you from the emotional roller coaster that is a narcissistic relationship. So, as you navigate your way through a relationship with a narcissist, keep this in mind. Adjust your expectations not to accommodate their behavior, but to protect your mental and emotional well being. You are dealing with someone who lacks empathy, someone who views the world only from their perspective. You can't change a narcissist, but you can change how you respond to them. Surviving a narcissistic relationship can be challenging but it's not impossible. We've delved into understanding narcissism, calling out toxic behavior, recognizing the abuse cycle, discerning abuse tactics, and adjusting expectations. This knowledge is your armor. Remember, you're not dealing with a rational person and they lack empathy. It's not about changing them, but changing how you respond to them. And you're not alone in this journey. Reach out, seek help. You are stronger than you think, and you don't have to face this alone.